So, well done, you've made it to video number two. How do lenses change the direction of light? In the last video we looked at refraction. Lenses are pieces of glass, transparent plastic, or even organic materials like the lens in your eye. And they are shaped to control the way light travels through them by using refraction. We're going to learn about that now. The first lens in question is a concave lens. My writing's so terrible, I think I'll drag the word down so you can see it. That way um, you won't have to cope with my terrible handwriting. When light travels through a concave lens, it does so like this. As it leaves the lens, it refracts away or outwards from the centre of the lens and does so the same at the other side. Incidentally, the light going through the centre, the very centre of the lens, carries on in a straight line. Notice that a concave lens is thinner in the middle than it is at the edges. This process of light scattering when it goes through a concave lens is called divergence. And that's how it's spelled. Actually, the lens in your eye is not that shape. It's this shape. We call this a convex lens. So it's fatter in the middle than it is at the edges. So how does light refract as it goes through a convex lens? Let's have a look. As it gets to the edge, it refracts towards the centre of the normal line. This creates a focal point, or a focus. Light rays that refract towards the centre of a lens are called convergent. And that's how it's spelt. If we want to understand your eye, the next thing we need to look at is how the shape of a convex lens, which is the same of your eye, affects how you're able to focus on things near and far. So let's look at how that works now. Okay, so here's a converging lens. It's causing the light rays going through it to focus on a particular point behind it. This is the focus. The length behind the lens at where the light rays are focused is called the focal length. We can see that distance at the bottom. And this is key to working out the strength of a lens or the power with which it is able to focus light. Let's look at a thicker lens now. You can see I've got one here below it. Look at the focal length on this thicker lens. It's much shorter. And this tells us something about the lens. It tells us that it's more powerful. The shorter that distance, the more powerful a lens or the greater ability it has to bring things into focus. This applies to your eyes, it applies to telescopes. You'll find huge telescopes with very thick lenses that are able to see objects very far away and, and bring them into focus. We can work out the strength of a lens using a simple formula. And that formula is 1 divided by the focal length that's the length from the centre of the lens to the point at which the light beams are focused. Your answer is given in diopters, this strange word that are the units for the. So, in summary, we've looked at how light goes through concave lenses, convex lenses, and how the thickness of a lens affects its ability to focus light and also how to work out the strength of focus. Now it's your turn, have a go at your worksheet for QR2. Um, use the help sheet only if you really need it and have your calculator ready because you may be asked to work out the strength of a converging lens. Good luck! The lens is more powerful.